your orangutan from the boat this morning. Kevin just got it. Yeah, now I feel like I'm on the safari. Welcome. We're Kevin and Janine, a Canadian couple who have escaped the rat race and are continuing our dream of slow travel around the world. Subscribe and follow along this season as we cruise Southeast Asia aboard a McConaughey 55 Catamaran. This is where we spent the night. Here. The next feeding station. This is the adventure bus. So this looks like a uh, orangutan nest, which apparently they build one every night for sleeping. Sometimes in the daytime they build one also. So every night they move somewhere new, build a new one. It's a wildlife photography group here. Troublemakers approaching. Trying to get into the stores. Mm -hmm. Jungle wildlife. <laughs> yeah. I could zoom in. I got lettuce tray. So no signs of any movement in the trees yet. Don't know if we'll see anything today. Nothing today. No orangutans. <laughs> Station, but we saw a little glimpse of one this morning on the yeah, river. Yeah, saw that little wild and one. Yesterday we saw, I think, 11 at the other feeding station. I have a guide now. Okay. <laughs> Stopping for a bathroom break. It's a cocoon. It's around the wall. Uh, I think this one. Spotted another wild orangutan. This one's a baby. Just rocking down the river. It's a baby orangutan hanging out. see the baby, but we don't see mama. Oh, the mother's lower down. Oh yeah. Crikey, it's a Bigfoot. Sunbathing crocodile. Very cool.
lunch was interrupted. Our first wild crocodile. What do you think? He's pretty chill, so we got too close to him. Yeah, we got too close. And he went for a splash. He did. Okay, walking into Camp Leaky. It's about a, a two kilometers, two kilometer walk. Dr. Birute Galdikas and her husband established Camp Leakey in 1971 and named it after her mentor, paleoanthropologist Dr. Louis Leakey. This camp is the site of the longest continuous study by one principal investigator of any wild, non-human animal in the history of science. Just walking down a trail, look up. Foe of Rambutan. And Rambutan. Oh, yeah. oh, and corn. Oh. Okay. Hello, friend. He's very energetic. He's on your he's on your braid. It's okay. He's just sitting there, trying to decide if he's gonna go further. Where can I go from here? I feel him crawling around. He's still crawling around. He's just yeah. sitting there. I can feel something on the... Is he like moving his feet? He's moving his mouth. He's a crane. Okay. <laughs> it's quite a big one. Monitor. <sighs> like, just like a uh, python color. Yes, he's beautiful. Uh, mm. Monitor lizard. Kepliki, no orangutan. But it's a good thing because it means there's enough fruit around and they're not relying on the feeding stations, so they're just out in the forest taking care of themselves. On the move, making our way back out of the rainforest, going to Kamai. Back to the boat. <laughs> King of the jungle. Living it up. With the refreshing taste of Sprite. <laughs> Traditional rooftop. Going to be as soon as we get out of the shallow water here, it's going to be a direct shot. So I think we'll just straight line do a to the west like side, a, a go to, yeah, instead of a waypoint or a route, okay. and that'll just give us a heading to head to. All right, 
And that'll take how long? Uh, probably a day and a half. Sweet. There is a rat. Let's see if it goes this side. Yeah, I'll come around. We have a rat in. <laughs> he was in the sail. Here of the boat, firing right where Kai is standing. We think maybe he's gone in there because we can't find him in the boat. Might have to live with a rat for a while. That or he's gone up the mast, sitting on a spreader laughing at us. We found a rat. So as we were raising the mainsail, and the folds were coming out. We had had a lot of rain, so water was splashing out. And then I saw, briefly saw a rat trying to climb up the sail at, right at the mast. Uh, so it had been sitting in those folds. And uh, we've had friends who have had rats also. Um, our friend Donnie Salthouse, he was anchored somewhere in the Philippines, I think. and. Uh, hadn't been in a marina in a long time and he had a rat. So these things are crawling up anchor chains. In our case, we have an anchor chain and we also have a bridle to distribute the load to the hulls. And uh, I think, you know, a swimming creature could possibly climb up those or the chain. But anyway, we so we continued raising the sail and uh, the rat somehow disappeared from the boom and the mast and the sail. We don't know where he went. Um, we've just started a passage, a hundred and or 230 mile passage. So at some point we're gonna have to catch it and get rid of it. But we don't have any mouse traps or rat traps. Do we close up all the doors? We can't, it'll be too hot in there. So we did that when we thought we might catch him. We closed up all the doors before yeah. finishing raising the sail, just in case he started scurrying and tried to get inside, but he managed to evade us anyway. Yeah. Sneaky rat. More to come, more to follow. Oh, and we're sailing, which we didn't think we'd have enough wind to sail. But we do. We have the J0. And a rat. Kevin saw a water spout come out of this thing earlier. So we've just doused the mainsail. Little squalls all over this morning. It's about 5.30 in the morning. It is very blue this morning. Really hot today, so we've turned off the engines. We're going first, swimming on our way to Bali. Yeah, and it's warm here though. Up in the water. Oh no, really? <laughs> oh, I got that one. Yeah. What kind of tuna?
There's not coming any new boats in there. Maybe. There's no room for it. Are we a little bit wet? Yes. Uh, <laughs> we got rained on. A lot. They're fishing nets. buildings and they store rice in the peak. Is our lunch spot. <coughs> and then this is I am. Mm -hmm. Then in the middle, it's make the hole like this. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. How long does it take to build this boat? Two months. Two months. Two months. Okay. Cool. okay. Here's some joinery. So they make palm sugar in this village, and the roads really narrow. It's like a bike path. Oh, the palm sugar water. Fermentation. Mm -mm. Dry banana leaf. Banana leaf. <laughs> I'm glad to do it. Okay. Support local. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Ladies. Don't touch it, Kevin. I'm not gonna touch it. 
you end up getting caught like a rat in a trap. We're hoping we can capture our guest and then release him into the water near land so he can swim to land. Best case scenario. Worst case, I don't know. We don't catch him. That's the worst case.